guys, Cora Takei here with Red Carpet Report at the Casting Society of America's Artios Awards. So, um, what do you look for when you get submission? Well, number one is, do they fit the actual demographic that we're looking for, is in terms of age, in terms of race, in terms of character or not. Uh, the next part is, number one, if I know them. If it's an actor I've worked with before, obviously they kind of get to cut in front of the line. Um, also, if they do just have an interesting je ne sais quoi that pops them to the top. Um, afterwards, obviously looking at credits, resumes, where they've trained, who they've trained with, if they have experience with improv, especially if I'm casting a comedy. Um, and then demo reels is going to be the big part that I always go straight towards. I'm sure you're really busy. Do you guys actually look at every single demo reel, submission, everything? I will say we definitely look at every single submission. It's wow. great with breakdown services. You know, when we get actors access, we get every single little thumbnail. We look at absolutely everyone. We may not click on every single person, um, but everyone that we open up to, it's usually a really great service that has their demo reels, all their pictures up, and then we get to get to explore, you know, anyone we're interested in. In the industry, we're often told that we need a wow headshot. Do you have any tips on what makes a perfect headshot? My number one tip is obviously that it needs to look like you. And what I usually tell actors is don't go with your favorite photo of you. Usually go to the photo that when you show your mom, she's going to go, oh, that looks just like you. It may not be your favorite, but that's probably going to be the best representation of you. Has there ever been a time when just someone walks into the room and you knew off the bat, this is the person I'm going to cast? It has happened. It's that kind of rare, magical moment that it does happen, but it's brilliant when it does. And more often than not, sometimes it's the surprise. There's definitely been the reverse of it. When I walk in, I'm like, nope, no way. And then they open their mouth, they start the scene, and it blows your mind off. And I think that's almost a funner moment. Do you have any other projects that you're currently casting for that you can tell us about? Well, right now I'm working for, I'm the manager of casting for TNT and TBS, so we're in the middle of our pilot season. Uh, yeah, so we're very excited. We're uh, currently casting several comedies and several dramas, so we're getting there uh, inch by inch, but uh, we're having a lot of fun. Thank you Thanks so for watching, guys, and if you like what you see, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys later.